Hey guys, it's Charlie. This game discusses the topic of drug distribution and usage, specifically marijuana. In many locations around the world, this substance is illegal. It is a controversial issue that's slowly finding justice as legalization is working its way around the modern world. Uh, but that said, this channel does not endorse or condone the illegal usage, sale, or distribution of drugs. This is only a video game. Please see your local laws regarding it and always be as educated as possible before making decisions in your own life. And as always, parents, do your damn job. Educate, protect. Thank you. Enjoy the video. All right, so this is uh, this is Weedcraft Incorporated. It puts a very humane... Thank you for the food, Mike. <laughs> wow. 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 Thank you for the food, Mike. You just, like, I just started by recording. You timed it perfect. I'm gonna leave it in. If anyone's wondering what that was, Mike bought me food, and that's what that is. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it in. Weedcraft puts, like, a humane touch on, like, drug, like, drug distribution, specifically marijuana. The entire business is marijuana. Uh, you can take it as far as you want in any direction you want. You're gonna have to deal with competition, supply and demand, different strains. You're gonna have to deal with uh, law enforcement and how to evade them, upgrade your stuff, research, uh, find out the right chemical balances for certain things to make it higher quality and whether that's actually worth it for your budget, uh, selling to different types of customers with different types of needs. You can, you know, you're going to have the opportunity to even take it legit and go into medical marijuana and get licensed. Uh, there's ways to launder money so you can clean it up and that you don't get caught very well or uh, uh, bribery you can make friends with certain politicians there's all sorts of things in this game that they've really brought in and uh, it's not like uh it's not like you're you know you're, you're not necessarily anyway you're gun toting drug dealing violence that you'd see from like the crack cocaine games and stuff but like this is they put a nice co cool humane approach into the game and i like it too legit to quit, yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna stay start a uh, new scenario because I don't actually have any games to load. It's great, we're gonna go kind of blind on this and see how it works. It's gonna be fun. I have no idea why the Tesla portrait is still up because nobody's claimed it, so it shouldn't be there. We'll see. Nip away for five seconds and I'm late. It's okay, it's okay. Let's do it, how do I evade the police? The Charlie Pryor story. There is a story to this and we're gonna hear what it is right now. So there's two scenarios. We're gonna play the first one, because I like the first one. Uh, it seems good. The first one also has, uh, a, it's got a bit of a tutorial to it too. I'm gonna leave it in, so. Yeah, dog portraits revealed now. Awesome, there you go. So growing up, I'll, I'll read you both scenarios and then we're gonna do the growing up one. So growing up, hope you had a good time during your first year of business school because that's the only one you're getting. It turns out dad was too proud to admit he was barely making enough money to pay your tuition. And then he got sick and now he's gone. Along with your MBA dreams, you're right back where you started in Flint, Michigan. If you don't know me, Flint is less than an hour that way. <laughs> Not that way, that's north. On the map, it'd be up, but really it's less than an hour that way. Yeah. So, right, real close. Uh, lots of time, I've been to Flint a lot. Uh, my grandfather worked for like 40 years in Flint. Uh, working in the car, working making cars, man, working for GM. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. Uh, so anyway, this starts out in Flint. Uh, living in your father's old house with Clyde, your intense, combative, free-thinking, anti-establishment, slightly paranoid younger brother. That's the first scenario. That's the one we're doing. The second scenario is highs and lows. It gives you it's more of an advanced scenario. I imagine that means that you should have some experience in the game before you start to try this one, probably. Um, after you spent over a decade in jail for illegal uh, cultivation and smuggling, you finally get to see the light of day. For the past years, you promised yourself to keep yourself out of trouble and figure out how to fulfill your dreams. Unfortunately, as the perils of an ex-con caught up, you realized the only way to get your life back on track was to contact your old accomplice, Maddie, who now runs a legal weed business. 
So this will be like a more advanced scenario. We're gonna do growing up though. I think this is the story I want to experience and uh, we're gonna get into it. Hi everybody. Let's let's go, let's go. Start scenario. There's a bit of a story here with it and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get out of the way and let you guys see that. It says a loan might seem risky, but if you manage, if you manage to up your business with it, it'll pay off greatly. All right, enjoy the story. Oh, interesting. I actually thought there was more to the story. You know, what I probably should do is play you guys the trailer. If I played you guys the trailer, yeah. you get more of the story. I guess this is just how the game starts. Because the trailer gives you guys... The trailer actually gives a lot more information. So, we'll do that after this, because then you'll get the better story, I think. Uh, welcome home, man! This is Clyde, is our brother. I wish I was under better circumstances. There's nothing we can do about dad being gone. The one silver lining in all this is that we got you out of that mind-bending academy. Remember, he's a little anti-establishment, paranoid. Right. <clears throat> he's he's that he's our he's our brother. He's our brother. He's he's alright. Masters of Business Administration. We were working on our MBA, so we're This guy is kinda like right up this guy. My camera's flipped now. Hi, this guy. He's a little up my alley a little bit, you know, a little bit more like me than, than this one over here. Maximum brainwashing, brainwashing association. Whatever. Yeah, well, uh, I know you didn't want to drop out of school, but doing is better than learning. What do you mean? I mean, I have a business proposal for you, man. Okay, let me guess. It involves smoking a bunch of weed. Change the verb and you got it. Let me show you something. All right, so I'm gonna pause it and just kind of walk you guys through the interface a little bit. Uh, there is a pretty cool, a pretty good tutorial, pretty good learning that goes along with the game up here. It's got a really great guide to it. And right now it doesn't show you a lot, which I actually kind of like the way it does this. It only shows you the information that you have access to. So this menu will expand as the game progresses rather than just showing you a whole catalog of everything and just overwhelming you and you don't know where to go, where to start. This kind of walks you through some of the things that are relevant, so it's nice. So I'll, I'll, I'm gonna leave that off, but if you wanna play the game, it's like that. By the way, if you want to get the game, I don't have any affiliate links or anything like that because it's not available on any of the networks I'm affiliated with. So you can get it on Steam right now. Just use the game command in the live chat and it'll bring you to the Steam page. It is currently on sale for its launch. It's normally a $20 game. You can get it right now for 18 bucks after tax. So a little, little, little discount there. Flint got an upgrade. Yeah. Okay, so current city is Flint. Of course, we're going to be able to move to other cities and stuff eventually later too. We got a current money down here as well as research. I have never used research of course because my only experience with the game so far is watching one video of Chris Odd. That's it. So inspiration for me finding out about this game, credit goes to Chris. And I haven't seen anything more advanced than his first video because when I find one video and I know that I'm going to play that game, I don't really watch the rest of it. So uh, we've got... Over here is where we're going to eventually start selling, and we've got our place that we're going to actually be growing in here. Uh, I'll explain more of the interface as we go. Let's click this. This is our family home. This is where we live. We're going to enter our grow room in our family home. Uh, and I'll walk through more of this interface here, too, as we go, too. The game will explain it really well. Okay, homecoming. Here's our, here's our family home. Don't use the water to water the weed plants. Jesus! Did dad know about your little setup? It was a better alternative than opioids and benzos. 
Opioids? Dad was using opioids? The doctors prescribed him Percocet and Oxy for the pain, but they screwed up his digestion and his tolerance kept climbing. A few months in, he was a shell of a man that he used to be. That's why I started growing. <sighs> Come on, with your head for commerce and mine for the shady side of the street? We should own this town's weed market. I was about to start a new batch. Let me know how... Uh, let me show you how it works. If we uh, want to keep the lights on here, we're going to need a whole lot of weed. <laughs> Good guy, Clyde. Yeah. Okay, so this is our operation. The, the pop-ups of stuff will come in. I think I'm going to just kind of explain it to you guys at my own pace, but some of the stuff will pop in and show us. So we've got three plants here. And this is sort of where we can grow. Now currently, I'm going to click the pot. We currently only have one strain. This is the Reggie, or Reggie. I think it's Reggie. This is the Reggie, okay? Uh, we have a choice of strain influences, and those strains influences who will buy the product. So some people have higher standards than others. Some people like a certain flavor more than others. Certain types of people like certain types of things. There's a whole lot of different things going on, right? So. The Reggie uh, is our lowest quality product, basically, for now. It's also our first one, right? So we're going to select this. And then we need to select our medium that we're growing it in, or the soil. Uh, we only start with, with poor soil, so we're going to do that. So we're going to do that in all three plants. And I can do this easily just by dragging this into the plant if I want to as well. So these will be the mediums that we go with in all of these plants. So I'm going to start growing. And I think they're all... I didn't select the strain in this one. Here we go. Start growing. Okay. So there's that. Now in order for them to grow, they need light. Right? We got a light. Right? So we're going to go up to the lights. Right now all we have is rusty lamp. That's all we can afford. So we're going to buy this rusty lamp. Cool. So now in our home in Flint with this rusty lamp, we're growing some weed on these three little things. Right? Now, there's three different speeds that you can travel at, like time can pass by at. You have your regular speed, your normal speed, your fast speed, and then your very fast speed. I probably won't spend hardly any time in very fast speed because it's too fast, but this thing wants me to hit it. So I'm gonna hit it once and then I'm gonna get rid of it. There's gonna be a lot of things in the game that will ask me to do something that I don't necessarily think I wanna do just yet. So I'm just gonna do it to get it to shut up and then move on. So there's two things we have to do to each plant. We have to water them obviously, uh, but we also have to train them, basically trim them. It's a, it's a process that accelerates their growth, uh, and it's a timing process, so we have to do it just enough to where it's optimal for its growth. We don't want to do it too little, and we don't want to do it too much. Uh, so a lot of this stuff involves holding down the button for a certain amount of time. When we train it, it also accelerates the watering process, and the more we can water it, the higher the quality will be. So we want to water these things as often as possible. So, from what I think, from what I've gathered, is I want to always hit the water button before we train. Because the training accelerates water. And if you already have water prompts, then you're kind of wasting it. So, we're going to hit water on these. And then as this ticks up, like a little timer, right? Then we can train it. We're going to go one, two, three, release. One, two, three, release. One, two, three, release. And we'll just kind of do that. I can go two times speed. I can go three times speed. It doesn't really matter, just as long as you can do it in the most optimal way. So I'll probably end up slowing down time a lot to do this part. But see, notice how it's, as soon as I train it, the water basically fills right back up and we're ready to rock. I didn't do it long enough that time, or I did it too much that time, yeah. So if you don't do it perfect or optimally, then you don't get the speed up. There's these two little bars. The blue bar, I'll, sh I'll show it to you in a second, as soon as I get, okay, stop. So there's two, there's two little bars. There's a dark green part of the bar, and then there's a light green part of the bar. Dark blue part of the bar, dark or light blue part of the bar. The dark green is the standard. That's the standard amount of time that it would take to grow it. Uh, the standard amount of time that it takes to fill it up. The light part is where you actually are based on how you're doing. So as I water it more or I train it perfectly, I, I'm speeding up the process. And by speeding up that process, I'm, I'm, I'm here instead of here, right? Same thing with quality. The blue bar is your quality. And normally the quality would be here, but since I've been watering it pretty well, it's a little bit higher 
and you want to get these bars as full as possible. Eventually, you can't harvest the plant until the bar fills up, so that's how that works. So I'm gonna hit that, train it again, hit this, train it again, and I'm just gonna train it again, I guess. It's gonna fill the water up, it's a little not optimal. Now once I've watered it enough, I don't need any more water. Like it doesn't let me do any more water. So now it's just a trim exercise. It's a little easier to manage. We can go a little faster on the time then. Let's do this. Charlie's making bank and smoking dank. <laughs> hey, now we're not gonna smoke our own product, okay? All right, let's not, let's not eat up our profits. Nah, I held it too long. There's a pretty good timing to this. You have to kind of, I, I think actually it's easier to do this when you just listen to it instead of watching the bar. Because as you're holding it down, it will fill up. But you can hear the little ticks. It's like, and there's like a, it's always a set timing and always a set pattern. So I think it's actually easier to time that right by listening, which will be hard because I'm talking a lot. It's called quality assurance. There you go. Yeah. yeah. And eventually we're going to, we're going to hire more staff and they're gonna help us sell things, or they're gonna help us grow things. I think I'm gonna focus more on the product side and not as much on the sales side, at least at the beginning, because I wanna make sure the product is perfect, or at least as good as it can be, and uh, you can improve the product yourself better than they can, basically. It's your own product, you care more about it, right? they have each of your employees have this little timer okay so these are done and they're emitting fumes right people are starting to smell this shit so let's get this out of here opportunity for growth you're an orphan at 24 with half an mba to your name as you take stock of your life you ask yourself whether the light you see is the end of the tunnel or clyde playing with his phone but while clyde's schemes might be illegal they do make money and they aren't hurting anybody got 10 bucks in cash a little more influence here. Street cred or reputation, whatever. Just a tiny bit more, right? All right, the harvest is in. Time to trade all this green for some for some green, right? Now, these two, right? I was trimming it really well. I was watering it really well. But this one, I, I went a little too far on the trimming. I trimmed it a little bit too much a couple of times. And so that's why these are harvestable and this one isn't. So the optimal timing allows you to grow more and, and get, to, get it out faster. This sucks. Now nah, let's do it. I'm excited about it. Let's light this candle. <laughs> Don't worry. I talked to my homies down at the marketplace. It's safe there, and they'll let you set up without any problems. If we can sell some weed, we'll be on our way to a real business. Okay. So I'm going to let this pop first. I can replant these right now if I want to, and I probably should just to kind of get them going. Every time I replant things, it costs me a little bit of money every time, but you know we're going to be selling it for more than it costs me to replant them. Okay. So pause this. Uh, let's, let's do this first. Let's get these taken care of first, because time will run while we're out of the house, so. And it's gonna make me do it. You know what, let's, let's do times one speed here really quick. One time speed is like all I need. Holding it down a little too much, okay. So we're gonna head out to Flint. This is the city. And this is where we're gonna set up for sale, right? So I'm gonna click this. And we have to set up for 500 bucks. This is our current money down here, right? 29.10, so set up for 500 bucks. This gives us a dealer spot at the marketplace. Now it's, it's marked as illegal, which means cops can catch us, end our game, there's a loose condition, right? Um, there's also a way to do it that's legal, which is for medical marijuana, but we don't have the ability to do that, we don't have the right strains for that, and we also don't have the licenses for that. So we've got this, we're set up, down here and we can assign a new spot if we want to and get two spots this allows us to expand the number of uh, our activity on the marketplace also sell more strains things like that we don't need to do that just yet because we're kind of just starting out so we're on the marketplace now right here we have vagrants this is one of the type of people one of many different types of people that are going to be interested in our product vagrants they have a price threshold which is eight bucks this is how much they're willing to spend for weed per gram eight bucks they're expecting poor quality they don't have a whole lot of high standards so whatever they don't have the high standards so i'm gonna i'm gonna hit this i'm gonna drop my batch that i have here you'll see i have 150 grams available i'm gonna drop my batch here 
Now this is a poor, this is our poor quality batch because we don't have, we don't know what we're doing yet. We don't have the, the setup yet. But it's good enough to sell to Vagrants. And our price is set at $8, which is what they're willing to pay. So everything looks good there. We have stock, we have buyers, we have a product available for those buyers at a price that they're willing to do. Perfect marketing, perfect, perfect business right there. Okay, I'm gonna come back to my grow up though. Make sure we're taking care of our plants here. Can't quite do that just yet. And there we go. Hit this, trim it. It's, it's like, it's, there's like a timing to this that's really actually not as relaxing. <laughs> it depends on how fast you play it. If you go slower speeds, it's actually better. See, I'm gonna wait on this. Hit the water first and then trim it. Because then once I trim it, the water will ugh, water will fill up. I always go too much on that one. What's going on? It's because I'm not listening. I want to hear the, the click, click, click. I can time it better if I can hear the clicks. It's easier. So I'll pause the game. We have people that are willing to buy. Now we can either click this right here and go out to Flint and then click the marketplace. I find it's actually faster if you just go to current city and click this. Then it will take you directly to the buyer that wants to do it. So it's already popped up and ready to go. So I like Reggie, but the quality really sucks. Price is not bad though, so I'll buy it. That's basically the Vagrant's mindset. So we'll run time, hold it down, and we sell our weed. Now these guys, these are, this is, these are different buyers. There's three different buyers here. We got Vagrants, there's two groups here that are interested. Then we have the regular Joes. Regular Joes are looking for higher quality stuff. They'll buy the Reggie, because the price is fine, but they're looking for a little higher quality stuff if we can provide it. And then we've got the Jocks. They're looking for great stuff, and they're willing to pay a lot more, like more than double, for good stuff though. So we have three different customers, and they don't really like the Reggie. In fact, they don't like it enough, they're not even gonna buy it. This is below their standards, they're not gonna buy it. These guys, they'll buy it, they're not really happy about it. If they get something better, like we get competition in the market, they're probably gonna buy theirs, not ours, but since there's no competition here yet, Oh, okay, fine, we'll buy it, you know? And especially since their price threshold is 15 bucks and Reggie, we're only selling it for eight. So they, they're okay, they're okay with it. So they'll buy it too. There we go, okay, so we sold almost all of our stock. We have 18 grams left. Let's go back to our grow room. Clip it, clip it, clip it. I, I gotta hear it. Cool, and I'm also gonna lower the music volume a bit. Because I think the music volume is just a tad bit high for me. This also means I'll be able to hear the stuff. Let's crank these up to 100. We'll go about like that with it. It's fine. That way I can see it. That way I can hear what I'm doing. <laughs> you do legal stuff in GTA 5? Who does legal stuff in GTA 5? Surprise Twitch even lets this game stream, illegal activity and all. You're allowed to do anything you want on Twitch as long as it's legal in your local area. But this is a game, you're not actually doing it. Technically, ac according to Twitch's terms of service, I can smoke marijuana on stream. Like, in real life, I could smoke it right here in front of you. According to Twitch's terms of service, because it's legal in my state. At least, it's about to be legal in my state. So I guess technically right now I can't, but this year I would be able to. As long as it's legal for me to do it, they're okay with it. It doesn't matter if it's illegal for you. As long as it's legal for me, I can do it. Vagrants, wanna buy our stuff? Let's see. I like it. Pr quality sucks. We're gonna work on the quality, but we're gonna sell this stuff first. Good, so we sold 150 grams. That's our, our milestone, and we progressed the story a bit, right? What's the deal? What started as desperate, a desperate dream has transformed into something far bigger. Not unlike Clyde, who started to grow up in his own way. 250 bucks, a little bit more influence, right? Super Lemon Haze, this is a new strain. Sativa. So we've got uh, Super Lemon Haze, it's just a little code is SLH. It's got a bit of a citrusy taste to it. It uh, helps with anti, it's an antidepressant. Makes people happy. And it also uh, presents a little bit of arousal, right? So there you go. That's a little bit, that's our new strain that we've unlocked. <laughs> Lemon Haze, ah yeah. Twitch is about local laws on that front. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So if it's, lo if it's legal for me, 
it's legal to do on stream. Uh, nice work. We're doing good. But I don't want to settle for good. Meat Bumps. He's been selling weed here longer than anyone I can remember. He can help us get to the next level. Hey, what's up, Bumps? <laughs> hey, what's good, my guys? Your product's decent. We gotta get to the right people. I can teach you to understand your customers. All right. All right. Let's do it. Tell me how. Where do we start? The vagrants down at the marketplace might be fine with your Reggie, but uh, the jocks are a bit more picky. You gotta give them some choice. Demographics, market demands, that I understand. Uh, unfortunately, all I can grow is Reggie right now. Man, you guys are amateurs. Listen, here's some super lemon haze seeds. Don't say I never gave you nothing. Now, let's get to it. There's a beach chair in the Caribbean with my name on it. All right, so let's pause this really quick. What we need to do now, we need to expand our area in our family home to two rooms. Harvest 50 grams of super lemon haze. So we're gonna come in here. We're gonna expand activity. It takes 2,000 bucks to set this up. But we're gonna do that. That's gonna let us do three more pots, basically. So let's enter our grow room. We got three additional pots, but we also have to buy the lighting for those. So let's get the lighting. All we can do is a rusty lamp right now. So let's go ahead and buy that. And we wanna set up super lemon haze. So that's this strain. All we have is poor soil at the moment, so that's our growing medium. We'll set that up. Same thing here with the medium, and then I think also I can just drag this in, select the medium, and go. So these are our three things. We can start growing now if we want to. I have to unpause the game to do that. So let's plant the seeds and get them going. Manual has new entries. There's different places we can expand to later. There's other other additions to our growing tutorials and additions to our selling tutorials as well. We'll just talk about those as we need it. If anybody in the chat has any questions, lay them on me. I've kind of explained the, the absolute basics of the game at this point. So I'm gonna stop my explainer mode just a little bit more. Chat with you guys a bit, focus on the game. Uh, focus, on, fo focus on you guys uh, a little bit more. Now these things here, I've trained them enough to where I've trained them and watered them enough. So now it's just a waiting game for these. And if I timed my water right and I did good training, we'll get these in a reasonable, uh, a reasonably good time. So let's water these really quick. And I planted these all at the same time, which means they're all gonna be cut at the same time. I actually think staggering these is probably better because then you can, you can address them all at, with optimal timing. They will eventually stagger themselves anyway, because when you address them one at a time, the next time you do it will be staggered. So I suppose that's okay. Yeah, you're not too late. We started uh, about 20 minutes ago. Yeah, there you go. They call them fingers, but I've never seen them. Fi oh, oh, wait, <laughs> there they go. <laughs> what? I'm curious if the plants will look different. Yeah, yeah, they will. Each strain has its own unique look. And uh, I mean, it makes sense. You know, they're different types of plant, you know? Okay, we're gonna hit the water first, then we're gonna trim. Oh, we can't quite trim that. Can't try to hit the water. Almost. Boom, boom, boom. So I think my, my pattern with this is basically when they're both all on, it's water, 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 trim, 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 water, water, water. Because once you water, the trimming activates the water way faster. So that's kind of like the pattern we'll focus on. That's gonna be our, our method here of attack. So we'll, it'll fill up. I'm not gonna trim it yet. We can harvest that one. Okay, let's water, trim. We'll water, water, trim, trim, and trim. Now, so in this situation, in this situation, there's no, I can't water it anymore. So now it's just all trimming anyway, it doesn't matter. Regular Joes wanna buy my product. Sounds like fun. Um, I can't quite harvest that one yet. Okay, we can afford it. Let's get, head out to the, Let's head out and sell, or head out and sell. The pro weed farmer, not yet, not yet. Okay, let's sell this. It's mostly just Reggie. That's a good amount of money there. Nice. Go back to our grow room. And uh, we have some water we're gonna do here shortly. There we go, a little bit of trimming here. Training, let's use the proper terminology, it's training.
And it's, uh, again, it's easier to perfect that if you just listen to it. In my opinion, because it's like, click, 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 click. Like, it has this... As soon as you hear that third click, you can let go, and it's, it's always perfectly timed if you do that. We'll harvest that, replant it. Yep, see, so you'll water, trim it, and then you can water it immediately after that. It's nice. Okay, there we go. Cool. Do they really look that different from each other? I know basically nothing about this. I know basically nothing about it either. I have never in my life actually grown weed, so I have no idea. This will be the la I think this will be the last water cycle for this one, so... So this, this, this doesn't matter. Vagrants want to buy the product. Let's head out. Okay. Oh, wait, it didn't hold it long enough. Okay, so let's pause it. Now, I have two strains, right? I'm about to have some more Super Lemon Haze. And I can, right now, I can only sell one strain because I've only got one set up here. So what I should do is assign... I need new activity. So I need to expand my activity here. So let's expand that for 500 bucks. And now I can sell Super Lemon Haze, which will be more attractive to other people. Now, what I'm trying to market this at are these guys because the jocks pay the most. So I want to market this product to the jocks. So I'm going to increase the price to about 19 bucks. And as long as the quality is up to snuff, they'll buy it for this. Right now, they're rating it one out of five stars. We want to get that as high as possible. That will raise demand. It'll also, later on when we get competition, which will happen soon, we want to have better product than our competition, or at least at a better value. So how the star rating will work is, my stuff may not be as good of quality as my competition, but if my price is lower to reflect that, then the rating might go higher than my competition. So people might be willing to buy mine over my competition as long as my price is low enough for them to find that more attractive, right? So it is a, a matter of you know supply, demand, a lot, a lot of market eco economics happening here, which is actually pretty nice. And we have total like control of that, which is kind of cool. It looks like a mobile game ported to PC. It has the simplicity of a mobile game, but there's a lot of elements to it that are, I think, kind of kind of a better it's it's better done on PC. It, it has a lot of the clicker game, right? It's a clicker game, which is no, kind of no different than like startup company, but in this case, I think there's a lot more depth to it than what startup company offered. And this is just the beginning. This thing gets real complex. Especially if you're oh, damn it. I didn't I didn't want to oh, damn I didn't actually want to hold it down. That was a very mediocre train. Well, this one's going to be a runt. This is the runt of the litter now. Oh, well. Economics 101, this game will teach you how to grow a small business and smoke dank herb. Dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it will certainly help you in understanding supply and demand for sure. I think it will. If you don't know the basics of, of business. So these green bars, we did a really good job on these. So these green bars are filling up nicely and we're probably gonna be able to harvest them like right now. I'm gonna slow down time just a little bit here because I, I wanna clip this and then harvest these as fast as possible. Okay, harvest these. Let's replant them right away. And we have product now, so let's head out to... Uh, we don't have anybody that wants to buy it yet. Eventually we're gonna have uh, we're going to be hiring new people. We can hire people to work for us, so help us sell our product. We get more people on the streets for us, and then we can focus on the product. Or you can hire people to focus on your product, and you can focus on the sales. But I find... I'm finding the gameplay experience is probably better done with you focusing on the product. Uh, at least at the beginning, anyway. I don't know how it goes more advanced, but I, I want to focus on the product and make sure it's as best as possible. Because your employees have, like, this timer where they'll react to stuff to where you can just go, go, go. Your, your employees have a timer where they're reacting to things, which is kind of meh. All right. So we're able to sell to the jocks now. They're going to buy our good stuff. We have 114 grams of Super Lemon Haze, and the quality is considered common. So these are the types of people that we can sell to in various different markets. 
And then if we want to take a look at our competition, these are the two these are the two com competitors we currently have to deal with. Uh, but they're over here. They're selling in these locations. They're not selling in the market. So we don't have any competition here in this area, but we've, we would have competition here if we went over here. We can actually double click these guys. This guy's name is Shiv. We don't really know anything about him right, right now. Uh, but we can talk to him if we want to. We can go up and approach him and talk to him, get to know him, maybe improve relationships with him, become friends maybe, or maybe not become friends. Maybe he'll be our enemy and he'll hate uh, he'll hate us. But if we if we can foster good relationships with the other dealers, it might be easier to deal with them. Um, it might also improve our business too, because if we make friends with somebody, they might share their strains with us, or they might decide that it's okay. We could split our markets. We'll stay out of your neighborhood, etc. So we could talk to him if we want to, and we'll try that. This is Vandergriff, thank you so much for the prime sub three months. I appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Get yourself a Jesse Pinkman. Ooh, probably not. I would. I would much rather have a Walter White. Thanks. <laughs> Damn it. It's better not be that problem again. Granted, I just said I wanted to focus on the product and have him sell, but I think I would take... I don't want a Jesse Pinkman. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. So I'm gonna come in there, introduce myself to Shiv. Well, hello, always nice to meet a fellow entrepreneur. Listen, kid, this is my territory. You try to poach my customers, it'll be the last mistake you ever make. Whoa, 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 okay. So based on first impressions, we have a neutral relationship with him. He doesn't know us. We don't know him. We can see that he's very motivated and he's very accepting. He's very accepting of cannabis. There's actually people who are not so accepting to cannabis. Integrity, he's a criminal. The integrity bar dictates how likely they are to do illegal activities. So you'll get some people who have a lot of high integrity and you might be able to hire them or deal business with them for like medical marijuana or things that are legal but when it comes to dealing illegally they would be very against that right so each character and different competition they all have their different traits and employees that you can hire as well have their different traits as well so you wouldn't want to hire someone with a high integrity to go and deal in the marketplace right now because they wouldn't like to do it and they may even rat you out to the cops if they don't like it so your own employee might rat you out and that would be bad so you want to kind of cater different people you want to be considerate of what they're into so let's uh we're not going to ask him for any favors he doesn't know us so let's just talk to him for a bit see if we can figure out what he's into so let's talk about i don't know about education man he doesn't seem like he's much of a business guy but maybe i mean he's dealing so let's see how would you, how would legalization in Canada influence our business? Again, we're in Flint, Michigan, pretty close to Canada. It's hard to say really. Both their legal and economic systems are different than ours. It's apples to can, it's apples and Canada's really. What? Uh, let's just, uh, let's just chat. Just a, a meaningless conversation that might improve my relationship with them with a slight chance of learning new information. You got any feedback on what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. There are plenty of online groups you can try, though. <laughs> okay, our our relationship improved a little bit, but we're still considered neutral. Okay, what about... Uh, you know what? Just tell me about yourself. Go ahead. Can you tell me something about you? I'm a bit on the busy side, maybe later. Okay, so he's not really into us, and we're kind of annoying him, so his, our, our relationship is dropping a bit. Probably not going to be able to get a whole lot out of this guy. What's your favorite weekend activity? Fighting mutants and aliens in the sewers of Mexico City. Now, if you could just leave me alone, I'd appreciate it. All right, fine, fine. Let's see if he's interested in like, we'll, we'll, we'll ping him on the education topic, see what he does. How do you think legalization will impact minors? I think as long as cannabis remains so-called forbidden fruit, we will see high teenagers. Fair enough. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of back out of this conversation. Let's check out our other competition here. We've got uh, Giselle. Giselle. She looks like she's a bit less on the uh, Malone Burger. What is this? Opera. Oh, this is the. I see. So she she deals with both legal and illegal. Okay. Okay. Are we sure this isn't Shaggy from Scooby Doo? <laughs> 
damn it, this better not be about that problem again, she says. Hi, let me introduce myself. Hope you don't mind some healthy competition on the market, seeing as we'll be rivals now. I will tell you this once, rookie. It's my turf, you dig? Go and find yourself another spot before I get real upset. Okay, fine. So she's shady. She's got a little bit more integrity than Shiv does, but she's pretty shady. It also says she's fair, fairly acceptable or fairly favorable to cannabis. She's fairly motivated, and we have a neutral relationship with her. So let's talk to you. I want to go... Let's just try... You know what? She might be more business savvy. Let's let's check out and, uh, what she sees about this. Ever since I remember I had an interest in business. What about you? Money overall is great, a great subject to talk about. Never understood people who think it's some kind of taboo. Cool. So we've learned that she's interested in business, and that was a good topic to talk to her about, so we're a little bit more favorable to us now. And I can also try education. Let's try this. How do you think legalization will impact minors? I think as long as cannabis remains so called forbidden fruit. Same thing as the other guy said, actually. We'll try some meaningless conversation. I would like to, uh, my approach to this is I would like to make friends, like be on good terms with all the other dealers, right? I don't want to have a whole lot of turf wars. I'd rather have some mutual cooperation. I think it'll make the game a little bit easier to deal with when it comes time to deal with competition. Let me tell you something. Cool. She's interested in cannabis. Go figure. So we can talk about her interest in cannabis now. This might sound weird, but what's your opinion on cannabis, just to be honest? Oh, this is actually a fascinating subject and a lot more complex than many folks think. So she's not going to tell us... Oh, we're familiar now, so we're not neutral anymore. Um, she's not going to tell us specifics, right? It's more like a, a broad subject, like I'm broadly interested in this and this is why. It, we're not, we don't get to see the actual words spoken, but it's a general conversation that works. The creepiest smile ever, yeah. Now that we're familiar, maybe she's more willing to tell me about herself a little bit more. So what's going on in your life, Jizz? Listen, I know I can trust you, but not now, okay? Okay, fair enough. So we're back to being neutral. Crap. Probably won't talk about family. Let's go back to business, see if she's interested in elaborating more. What do you think the cannabis market will look like in the future? First and foremost, the Canadian legislation will most likely influence the market here in the States. There's a lot of crossover between ourselves and our northern neighbor. Cool, we're back to being familiar again. And there's not a whole lot of, maybe I can get her to talk a little bit more about this, but probably not. I don't want to annoy her, right? It okay, where do I think the cannabis, where do you think the cannabis industry is heading? It depends. Full legalization may lead to concentration of power among big corporations. That's true. Uh, if marijuana remains illegal, criminals have a lot to gain, and maybe some not very nice people using it to their advantage. The change has to proceed cautiously to not ostracize small businesses and to reduce the criminal impact on the market. We're back to being familiar. She also has some pretty good insight about that, too. It's very similar to how it worked with prohibition and alcohol. I don't think she's going to tell me about herself yet, so we'll come back and talk to her later. So, we know a little bit more about our competition now, later. Potential competition in the future. I think it's good to get to know... I think it's a good idea to always get to know your competition. And we can have those conversations without passing time. So, when the time is running, our, our plants are growing and, and things are happening. We're missing opportunities. But while time is not passing, nothing's happening in the grow room. So, we're not missing our timings. 